Hey guys, welcome back to my booth, Irfan here. Now you see two mountains of gadgets next to me and I'll tell you what happened. Now every month I have about one or two gadgets that come my way and I review them on my channel. I try to usually finish them within that month, if not it goes to the other month maximum. Uh, but what happened in November is I received a couple of gadgets and as usual I put them on hold. I wanted to clear my backlog first and then move on to them. And then December came and then January came and then we all know what happened after that things started to take a turn for the worse we had movement restrictions we could not go out of our houses some of the gadgets in these piles i had to go out to review them so they were completely on hold like action cameras dashboard cams gimbals etc so i decided to wait and then the wait turned into laziness and i kept myself every day i'm gonna do it today tomorrow eventually it's august and i have 18 gadgets with me and there's one more wait a special one this by itself is a whole package of packages so I'm gonna let this be for now but I'm gonna give you a clue you can just search or clue that's OCLU Google it let me know what you find out it's very interesting I'm really excited to try this out in fact this was one of the few gadgets that got me really excited during the lockdown but for now I have these two mountains I put them on Instagram and I wanted you guys to decide which tower I shall take down first and it was a general consensus to go with tower B. So I'm gonna put this on the side and first we'll tear down every gadget one by one We'll see what I have to work with for the next couple of weeks. Both of them are awesome gadgets They have been sent to me by different websites banggood.com gearbest.com some stores from Amazon I'll be giving you details on every gadget as it comes and I'll also be giving the link in the description box below in case you want to check them out I've got smartwatches. I've got PUBG triggers. I've got uh, eye pen whatever that is I've got gimbals, I've got security cameras, I've got microscopes, I've got another security camera, I've got dash cams, I've got fitness bands, I've got uh, another gimbal, I've got uh, chargers, I've got drones. Let's dive in. If gadget reviews, DIY projects and life hacks are your thing, then consider subscribing to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the action. Alright guys, now I have Pile B with me. Now we've got some smaller gadgets on the top and progressively becoming bigger as we come to the bottom. So I'm gonna start with the top with the smallest and probably the cheapest in the whole pile. Now, I got this even before November when I was very much interested in playing PUBG. It was an era, not anymore, stopped it for good. So this is one of those portable game pads. Uh, they come with uh, uh, like a grip for the phone plus a directional button and some triggers. Now this came from banggood.com, it cost about $5.39 at the time, pretty much the same price even now I think, let's see what's inside, alright that's pretty much it. So this is the uh, grip where you fit in the phone, it can stretch out to accommodate different sizes of phones, I think it can stretch out to pretty much fit the biggest phone you can find. And then in this little box we have so these are the triggers okay so you just clip them on the top of the phone and then you can just touch these these are like metal strips and inside you have a metal connection so this would be directly on the screen and as soon as you touch this it would you know trigger fire or whichever option you put this on now I pre personally prefer the ones that used to like click you can just actually like click them to fire but these ones were also pretty in at the time so I will definitely try them but not today and then there's one more thing it is this directional button so this one actually if you can see it fixes on here so there it goes so it would come on the screen I wish I had an extra phone actually let me grab one all right so this is how the phone would go in and then this goes on top and then you can see the this thing moves like a joystick and you can see that this is actually moving the time and date which means it is actually working on the surface of the phone and then these would come on top anyways i think i need a couple of minutes to set these up and i will try it not today today is just about unboxing so let's put this aside and move to the next one all right so next on the pile we have the thing which i labeled as apple watch killer in my instagram post now this is the amazfit gts if you remember a couple of months ago i did the amazfit gtr review which was the round dial version of the exact same watch now this one has a square dial looks a lot more like iphone uh, the apple watch i actually love this brand they have really classy watches let's see what we have inside it's called a Fit gts 
On the box, we have a couple of functions. It says AMOLED display, water resistant, up to 50 meters, built-in GPS, long battery life, multi-sports mode, lightweight. It's off. I did open this before. That's when I took off the sticker. Look at this. It's a beautiful watch. All right, so we've got uh, a heart rate sensor, a really nice long silicone strap. Got a nice matte finish buckle. It's not on. Like not. I can't unfortunately show you what uh, the options are on there. But of course, I will be charging it and doing a complete review of this. I've been impressed with uh, the brand Amazfit. In fact, I use it till date. I've got the Amazfit BIP on my hand. Uh, I've used the Amazfit BIP once before. I've used it once again. I've used I've used the Mi Bands. Uh, I've also had the Amazfit GTR in the past, but unfortunately, it broke and stopped working. I don't know why. So this is going to be my next watch, which I personally use, but I'm just waiting to review it. I'll be doing a couple of tests like underwater, running, making sure the distance it records, the steps and everything it does are accurate. All right. So next up, we have these uh, Tsumbe dual driver headphones, earphones, actually. Now, if you remember, I reviewed uh, a specific set of headphones a couple of months ago. They were called the Archer headphones and they were wireless headphones, Bluetooth uh, connectivity and all. The special thing about them was that the headphones had a little switch. So you, you, were, you put the headphones on and you're listening to whatever you're listening to. And then you get tired of them being on your head with all the weight and you take them down and you flick a switch and it becomes a loudspeaker. And they were pretty loud. I think they were like 20, 25 watts. So this comes from the same store on Amazon. These are called Tsumbe and these are dual driver. Now, honestly, I don't exactly know what dual driver means. I've just been reading it a lot. If you guys know, do let me know what exactly it means. But these are now you can see these do look a bit different. I mean, so you can see that they, they definitely look different. I don't know. They've got these two coil sort of things inside. And then you've got the earbud. I saw very similar ones from Blitzwolf. Now, these cost about $15 at the time. Unfortunately, that store, I can't find it on Amazon anymore. So if you do want something similar, you can definitely look at the Blitzwolf ones. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. Now, other than the headphones, we have uh, these uh, three sets of uh, different uh, silicone earbuds. There's one more box below. Oh, there's a lovely pouch. You don't really need one to carry your headphones, but it is there. They're not too shabby. All right, let's move to the other one. All right, so the next one is pretty big. I know there is something good inside. I know exactly what is inside, but I've not seen it yet. So I've got my weapon of choice. I went straight down to the fourth layer and I find a bubble wrap package. It says PhotoWelt Air Pulse. I'm not sure if this is a mistake. You can see it says Air P-U-L-S. Not sure if it was supposed to be plus or pulse. But this is actually a pretty good thing. It's a very nice thing. Really excited about that. Tore the box. I slid right through it, but it is still intact. On the back, it says the package list is TX transmitter into two, receiver into one, portable bag into one. So basically, this is a wireless mic system for phones, for DSLRs, for mirrorless cameras, for GoPros, whatever you have. Now, usually when I do recordings like this, I have a mic right there on my camera. My camera is my phone, basically. So I've got an external mic. And even though it's pretty close, the voice is all OK and uh, that. But with this, it just goes up to the next level. All right, so we've got a very nice, neat little case. Look at that. They're packed so neatly. So I'm just going to open up one and show you exactly what this is. So you've got these, this is the receiver. There is an aux cable right here, not an aux cable, but a mic cable actually. So this itself is a small little microphone. There's a mic over here, you can see. And then there is, a, so here is the uh, mic cable. So you can either use this, you can just like plug it anywhere over here and the, or you can do this. And then you clip this onto your back pocket and then you clip this near your collar. Then you can talk into this and it will send a signal to where this goes into your phone. So there is one cable over here. You connect this and then you connect that to your phone via an aux cable, which is also present over here. So you connect this to your phone or your camera and you can be up to 50 meters. So you can be 50 meters away from this device and still be recording clearly. So this is a total game changer. It's wireless. It's perfect. And there are two transmitters and one receiver. So it's basically two people can be hosting like a video or something and it has noise cancellation also. Now I'll be testing this one in detail because this is something I'm very keen to use myself to change my whole setup. 
this is definitely going to be a big part of it oh yeah and this one goes for about uh, 209 dollars uh, it came from a store called photo Welt itself on amazon the next item on the agenda is what you read as i pen now in the first time anyone reads they're gonna assume it is something to do with apple or a rip off of apple but it's nothing like that this is sorry to interrupt you guys but the i pen unboxing has to wait now the complete video turned out to be quite a bit longer than i initially intended it to be which is why i decided to split it into two parts you already watched one the second one will be uploaded and published on Friday, which is after three days. So make sure you subscribe to my booth and turn on the bell notifications to all so you get notified as soon as the new video is up. In the meantime, feel free to check out my booth on Instagram and other social media. All the links are in the description box below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you all with a brand new video on Friday.